In the inky depths of those woods, where the silence was so thick, it seemed to press against my eardrums. I encountered an experience that still haunts my every waking moment. It was a night like no other, a night that forever altered my perception of reality and left me with a chilling understanding of the true malevolence that can hide beneath the cloak of nature. I had always been drawn to the mysteries of the forest, its towering trees and rustling underbrush, whispering secrets that no human could ever fully grasp. But this fascination turned into a relentless obsession after I stumbled upon an old tattered map while rummaging through my late grandfather's belongings. It was a map that hinted at something far more sinister than the usual stories of wandering spirits or cryptic symbols. It showed the way to a remote, forgotten part of the woods, a place marked only as the hollowed heart. The map's peculiar nature piqued my curiosity. The hollowed heart was not a location found on any official map. It was a local legend, whispered among the townsfolk with a hushed reverence. They spoke of it as if it were an entity, an ancient force that watched over the land with an inscrutable, malevolent intent. No one ventured there, and those who had were never seen again. But I was not one to be deterred by such tales. Armed with the map, a backpack filled with supplies, and a reckless determination, I set out one crisp autumn evening to uncover the mysteries of the hollowed heart. The forest welcomed me with its looming trees, their gnarled branches reaching out like skeletal fingers. The moon cast eerie shadows, and the rustle of leaves underfoot was the only sound to break the silence. As I journeyed deeper into the woods, I couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. It was an unnerving sensation, like the eyes of unseen creatures bore into my very soul. Every now and then, I thought I glimpsed strange movements at the edge of my vision. But when I turned to look, there was nothing there but the trees. Hours passed, and my surroundings grew increasingly unfamiliar. The trees seemed to have twisted and contorted into grotesque shapes, their trunks resembling the withered limbs of ancient beings. The map led me on, deeper and deeper, until I came upon a clearing bathed in moonlight. In the center of the clearing stood a colossal tree, its bark pale as bone. Its branches spread like a skeletal canopy, and at its base was a dark, gaping hollow. It was the very heart of the hollowed heart, as indicated on the map. As I approached the tree, a sense of dread clutched at my chest. The air grew frigid, and my breath came out in frosty puffs. I could hear a faint, haunting melody carried on the wind. It was a tune both beautiful and mournful, like the lament of a lost soul. I strained to see its source, but the darkness shrouded it. My curiosity overcame my fear, and I ventured closer to the tree. Peering into the hollow, I gasped. Inside was a sight that defied reason. A figure, pale and spectral, stood within the hollow of the tree. Its eyes, empty voids, locked onto mine. I could feel its gaze piercing through me, stripping away my sanity. Who are you? I stammered, my voice barely a whisper. The figure did not reply, but its gaze beckoned me closer. Against my better judgment, I took a step forward. The melody grew louder, filling my ears with a mournful wail. I couldn't resist the pull, and with each step, the world around me twisted and contorted. The forest seemed to come alive, the trees writhing as if in agony. Their branches reached out for me, their roots clawing at the earth. The very ground beneath me seemed to breathe, rising and falling like the chest of some slumbering beast. As I reached the threshold of the hollow, the figure extended a bony hand toward me. I felt an irresistible urge to touch it. Our fingertips brushed, and a jolt of icy electricity surged through me. Images flooded my mind, images of unspeakable horrors and forgotten nightmares. I stumbled back, my heart pounding in terror. The figure remained within the hollow, its mournful melody growing louder and more frantic. 
It was as if it fed on my fear and despair. In a panic, I turned to flee, but the forest had transformed into a nightmarish labyrinth. The trees closed in around me, their branches forming gnarled barriers. The very ground seemed to shift, leading me in circles. It was as if the woods themselves conspired to keep me trapped in this nightmare. Hours passed, maybe even days, as I struggled to find my way out. My supplies dwindled, and exhaustion gnawed at my bones. The spectral figure continued to haunt my every step, its hollow eyes a constant reminder of the malevolence that dwelled in the hollowed heart. Then, just when I had all but given up hope, I stumbled upon a clearing bathed in moonlight once more. But this clearing was different. The trees were ancient and gnarled, but their branches did not reach out to ensnare me. Instead, they stood like silent sentinels, watching over a stone pedestal at the center of the clearing. Upon the pedestal lay a single object, a weathered journal. It seemed out of place in this desolate place, a beacon of human existence amidst the malevolent forces that had ensnared me. I approached the journal and opened it. Its pages were filled with the writings of a man who had ventured into the hollowed heart long ago. His words were filled with despair, his handwriting growing increasingly shaky as he chronicled his ordeal. In his final entry, he wrote of the spectral figure of the haunting melody that had driven him to madness. He spoke of a curse, a curse that bound his soul to the tree, a curse that now threatened to claim me as its next victim. I closed the journal, tears in my eyes, realizing the true horror of my situation. I was not the first to be ensnared by the hollowed heart, and I feared I would not be the last. With newfound determination, I turned away from the pedestal and faced the spectral figure. Its mournful melody reached a fever pitch, but I would not be swayed. I had to break the curse, to free myself from this living nightmare. With all the strength I could muster, I raised my voice and sang. It was a song of hope, of defiance, a song that pierced the darkness and shattered the malevolent forces that bound me. The spectral figure wailed, its form dissipating like smoke in the wind. As the figure faded, the forest around me returned to its normal state. The trees no longer reached out to ensnare me, and the ground beneath my feet was steady. Exhausted and shaken, I stumbled out of the hollowed heart and back into the woods I had once known. I had survived, but the horrors I had witnessed would haunt me for the rest of my days. The hollowed heart was a place of unspeakable evil, a place where the malevolent forces of nature held sway. It was a place that should never have been discovered, and I knew that its secrets were best left buried in the depths of the forest. I emerged from those dark woods a changed person, forever scarred by the horrors I had encountered. The legend of the hollowed heart had become all too real, and I could never forget the chilling truth that lay hidden beneath its twisted trees. It was a truth that no one should ever have to face, a truth that would forever haunt my nightmares.